finally met your match, Chameleon. The trailer of Kung Fu Panda 4 released on 13th December, and everyone is excited for the latest sequel to this franchise. The two and a half minute long trailer was filled with subtle details that most of you probably missed. But don't worry, as we are bringing you eight details you missed in Kung Fu Panda 4 trailer. Before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun content like this. Hey. The first and most dangerous one is the introduction of a new villain in Kung Fu Panda 4, a chameleon. Now you might be thinking her power is camouflaging, and that is somewhat true guys, but it is taken to the next level. She can shape shift into any creature, big or small. This means she could become as small as a mouse to sneak around unnoticed, or as large as a dragon to cause fear and chaos. This makes her entirely unpredictable and difficult to fight. And her target is Poe's Staff of Wisdom. This staff has the power to resummon all the master villains who Poe has already defeated. So if by any chance she gets her hands on this staff, she could potentially become the most powerful villain they've ever faced. This has us all intrigued. In the trailer, there's a particular moment that hints that the chameleon might be able to get her hands on Poe's Staff of Wisdom. It's not shown clearly, but there's a subtle hint left hanging in the air to create suspense. But we do see glimpses of the chameleon with a staff. This detail is crucial as it sets the stage for the main conflict in the upcoming movie. If the chameleon does indeed get the staff, she could potentially become the most powerful villain Poe has ever faced. And if Poe and his teen wants to stop that from happening, they will need to defeat her before she absorbs all the power. The suspense that they wanted to create has indeed been created. In the trailer, we are introduced to a new character named Zen. He is portrayed as a fox, a character that is known for being sly and cunning in many stories. Through the instances we see in the trailer, it is clear that Zen is not your routine hero. And Zen's relationship with Pose is quite interesting. She often ends up getting under Poe's skin or fur. In this case, she irritates and annoys Poe, but all in a playful and harmless manner. But it is possible that she is not just here for comedic effect. Her skills are invaluable. The trailer doesn't give us much but hints that Zen has some unique abilities or talents that will prove to be extremely useful in their adventure they are about to have. Between all these new characters, maybe you missed some familiar voices. Voice actors from the previous Kung Fu Panda movies are back again and we couldn't be more excited. First, we have Dustin Hoffman or Kung Fu Master Shifu. He was a mentor to Poe in The Furious Five, and throughout the story, his wisdom and martial arts skills were an important part of the story. Then there is James Hong as Poe's adopted father, Mr. Ping. He is a cheerful and loving goose who raised Pio, and the character brings an overall sense of warmth and humor to the story. Ian McShane is also back as Tai Lung, who was once Shifu's best student, but he later turned evil because he was consumed by power and ambition and McShane's voice acting helps Tai Lung achieve a memorable presence as a villain. The return of these voice actors brings a sense of authenticity and familiarity to the movie. These stars are a crucial part of the series and have played significant roles in shaping the story and characters we've come to love. Why should we help you? We can take down the chameleon together. Then there is another new character in the story, Han. He is the leader of a group known as the Den of Thieves. The trailer only introduces him and the scenes that we do see only give us one hint, that he loves to fight. Both of the bits of information we have about him tell us he is a fierce character, and this can mean two very opposite things. Either he will be another enemy Poe has to fight against, or he will be an ally that plays his part like Zen. We can only find that out when the movie is released. There is a key question that some of you might have missed. Where is the Furious Five? For those of you who don't know, the Furious Five are a group of highly skilled kung fu warriors who are Poe's friends and allies. They include Tigris, Monkey, Mantis, Viper, and Crane. This group has been an important part of Poe's life in the past movies and their absence is definitely notable. So, there are only two things that could happen. Either they are not a part of this movie because Poe will be the main hero and will handle this adventure on his own, or they will be back in the movie and are only absent to build suspense. What do you think is more probable? Let us know in the comments down below. In the series, Tai Lung was an important character. He was the first villain Poe faced and defeated, and his story is quite complex. He was raised by Master Shifu and was promised the role of the Dragon Warrior. But when later he was denied this title, he became the one to set the stage for the first Kung Fu Panda movie. And after he lost his fight, he was last seen being sent away by Po using the Wuxi finger hold. But in the trailer for Kung Fu Panda 4, we see a glimpse of Tai Lung. There is no detail or context, but the brief shot of him is enough to make fans intrigued. So, what is he doing here now? Not even the great 
Dragon Warrior. It could mean a few things. Maybe Poe will need to save Tai Lung and other creatures from the new villain, the Chameleon, or maybe Tai Lung will have a change of heart and join forces with Poe. It's also possible that his appearance is part of a flashback for any character. We have to wait to find out. This detail might be difficult to miss, and it came as both a surprise and a shock. In the trailer, we see that Poe is retiring from his role as the Dragon Warrior. I'm not going to be the Dragon Warrior anymore. A role that was the reason for his very first fight, and one that certainly meant a lot. This obviously doesn't mean he's entirely out of the action. He is just transitioning into a new role as the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. This is a big deal for Poe in his journey. Over the past years, we have seen him grow from an enthusiastic, clumsy fan of Kung Fu to the Dragon Warrior and now a spiritual leader. It truly is growth in every sense. And there you have it guys, all the details you missed in Kung Fu Panda 4 trailer. Which one were you able to spot? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.